You're cooking mit Hans. Welcome back to Cooking with Hans. I am Acting Corporal Hans Mueller. Today we're going to be doing a pasta dish with minimal ingredients. During World War II, you had to ration all the ingredients. Normally what you would have eaten in one day, in one day you would have had to extend for as much as a week. Today we're going to be using tomato sauce, pasta shells, some vinegar, fresh chives along with half a teaspoon of dry chives with a teaspoon of minced onion dried with some salt and butter to grease a pan with already got water on the oven getting ready to boil it we'll be using this pan to bake the dish after we prepare it. And also we're going to be adding some mozzarella cheese. So this recipe comes from the Field Kitchen cookbook. And our German word for the day is just happens to be Kochen. The first word in the title of this video, which means cooking. In German, translated into English, it would be Kochen with Hans. So our German word for the day. Now let's get everything set up. For ingredients, where we need salt to help for seasoning. Maybe put a little pepper in it later. And vinegar. Recipe calls for vinegar. You add that to the boiling water with uh, the pasta. Mm. Just briefly boil in salt water and let finish cooking. Add a bit of vinegar. With this, the shape is retained better. That's what they say. So let's cut up some chives. Let's see, knife, knife, knife. Man, do I got knives. Mm -hmm. Let's see how much we need. We can use some of this in the cooking as well as a garnish. Let's rinse some of this off. Always good to rinse your vegetables. Good. This should be about what we need.
we'll put a little of this vinegar into this small glass. This should maybe a little more. Put that over here. It's always good to have uh, everything pre-set up. Cut up this uh, cheese. This recipe is not unfamiliar to me. When I was a child, I would help my mom in German you would be referred to as Muta prepare a dish similar to this. Sometimes it's good to add a extra ingredient here now and then. Actually, this is where I got a love for uh, mozzarella cheese. Cooking with my mom. And we're ready for the shells. Better turn down the heat to uh, medium so we don't boil over. One bag of shells makes a serving for eight people. It's going to take a few minutes for the shells to be cooked. In the meantime, let me explain something about uh, Victory Gardens. They were very essential for growing herbs for people. Like here in Arizona, you can practically keep a herb garden going all year round in the lower parts. Up in the higher mountains, you will have snow. As time went on during uh, World War II, when uh, the bombings were occurring, more homes were destroyed. So restaurants were opening them up, their businesses to families, which continued till 1947. But it was a Kind of like a cafeteria type dining, so. It really shows what uh, people will do when they work, what they can do when they work together. So right now, some people can be growing uh, vegetables, herbs, which would help with the uh, grocery bills and when there's items uh, not available. So it looks like we can add that vinegar. While this is cooking, why don't you uh, click on the like button or in uh, press subscribe and click on that bell for future notification. You will find my uh, videos also on Facebook and Twitter underneath the same name, Cooking with Hans. Let's get uh, this pan grease. So you might say, oh, I shouldn't be using your hands. Well, if this was a restaurant, you might be right. But this is my home. 
Oops a daisy, something's happening here. like they're ready. Before I finish that pan, I better move these things over. Shake them out a bit, get some of that water out, and let them drip. All right. Like I was saying, if this wasn't a business, I would have to wear plastic gloves, and I would constantly have to keep my hands washed. But you can handle food as long as you're keeping your hands washed. I used to work in a kitchen called the Stardust Motor in. It's gone now. The dentist's office I went to, the hotel is now a parking lot and a grocery store. So what we do here is mix, cover this good so nothing sticks. Because if you didn't do it, once the stuff starts cooking, it's going to be cooking right onto the metal. And you're going to have one hell of a mess trying to get it off. You would have to soak this thing for hours. If that's the case, put water in it, take care of it in the morning. This should look pretty good when I'm done. Oh, in that uh, cookbook that I got this recipe from, you can find it on eBay. Called, just look up World War II German Field Cookbooks. I haven't opened these things with this type of can opener since I was maybe 10 years old. All right. Step over there. Schultz, you coward, where are you going? Partisans are attacking? They've turned my video into a two-parter. Oh, great. They just stole the Parmigiano-Reggiano cheese. And left the cheeses. 